Good morning, everyone. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I would like to use this morning to uh, read another chapter for, um, from the uh, Mahayana Sutra called The Exalted Sublime Golden Light. In this sutra, the Buddha advised that in case of natural disasters, pandemic uh, people uh, of a country, uh, especially attacking one country, the people in that country should focus on reciting this sutra. It is especially um, um, suitable and effective for pandemic and natural drug uh, countries. Here it goes, the chapter 5, the source of lotuses. Then the Tathagata said this to the noble goddess Bodhisattva Samuchaya. O oh, noble goddess, at that time, at that moment, a king called Suvana Bujendra, with his eulogy of all Tathagatas called the source of lotuses, praised past, future, and present Buddhas. Conquerors that appear in the past, those who dwell now in the ten directions worlds, to those conquerors I prostrate. Of these conquerors I sing praise. The vanquishing sages are calm, utterly calm and pristine. Their bodies shine with the color of gold. Their voices are the sweetest of all melodies, for they roar in the melody of Brahma. Their hair is bee, peacock, and lotus blue, curly and jet blue as the blue jay. Like snow and corn, their teeth are ever beautiful. Intense, intensely white, gleaming like gold. Their eyes, long and flawless blue, resemble lotus in full bloom. Their tongues, fine and broad, lotus color and shining, resemble a lotus thread. Their treasure hair, like the lotus and corn, of lapis color, swirl to the right. The eyes of Buddhas are slender as the waning moon. The navel of their body shines like a bee. Their noses, high on their lofty faces, are soft and fine, their color akin to divine gold. Always and incessantly, their taste senses of conquerors are smooth, sublime, and outstandingly supreme. A single hair emerges from their very paw and curls to the right. Their plaited hair, deep blue, lustrous, and glistening, is blue and peacock's beautiful neck. As soon as they are born, their bodies illuminate the triple realms and all the ten directions worlds. Limitedly, suffering is dispelled by this light. And sentient beings are sustained with all happiness. In the realm of hell being animals, hungry gods, humans, and gods are all beings are endowed with peace and happiness. Migrating beings of low realms are calmed. A fine complexion, their bodies glow with light the color of refined gold. Like a pure spotless moon, the faces of Sugata are smiling, are most beautiful and pristine. Their bodies and limbs are tender as a newborn child. Their excellent heroic get is that of a lion. Their long hands and very long arms are as branches of the silo tree swung by the wind. Their full arm span, blazing light, issues rays, like a thousand suns, intensely bright, flawless are the supreme forms of vanquishing sages, who brightly illuminate limitless world. The brilliance of Buddhas pales and eclipses the light of numerous suns and full moons, in limitless hundreds of thousands of worlds. The sun of the Buddhas is the light of the world, hundreds of thousands of Buddha suns, the light of Tathagatas, are beheld by beings in countless hundreds of thousands of worlds. Their forms, possessed of a hundred thousand merits, are fully adorned with every virtue. The arms of conquest resemble the regal elephant's trunk. The light of the hands and feet is striking and bright. Equaling the dust particles on the surface of the earth are past Buddhas numerous as grains of fine sand. Buddhas to come are just equal to that in number, equal though, equal to are those abiding now. With speech, mind, and, bo and body pure, I offer flowers, incense, and abundant praises. My mind overflowing with virtue, I posture to these conquerors. The qualities of the conquerors are only virtue of the highest essence and ranging.